All right, hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Uh, also, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and push out this word at a high frequency. Peace, safety, and much love to the elect members that's laboring around the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to make their calling of election sure. All right, it's the brother Atazan I'm here back in the spirit. You know, I'm out waiting on some work, you know, so, you know, to kill some time. You know, not to kill time, but to edify the elect, you know, because um, I'm not really killing time. I'm actually maximizing my time. Um, I want to put this lesson out there basically going into, um, you know, how um, you have to obey Yahweh Shai in his absence. Okay. And uh, when I say obey Yahweh Shai in his absence, I mean the things that you're doing, you have to move as if Yahweh Shai is walking with you shoulder to shoulder at that very moment. All right. Because nothing is hid. All right. The Lord, the Lord sees everything. He beholding all the good and the evil um, that goes on in the earth. So if we are uh, calling ourselves men of the Lord and and we want to be a part of the hopefully elect, uh, we have to be um, mindful of our manners and, and our mannerisms and our actions that we do on a daily basis. All right. Here it is. You know, uh, one of the elders may visit your camp or one of the uh, Akim, a well-known brother, visits your camp. And then uh, now all of a sudden you showing up all the time when before you never show up, you know, you never pull up. You know, you never uh, try to go above and beyond the link up. But then when certain, certain of the apostles and the elders come, then you the first one. Which that's cool. But it's like you got to keep that same type of passion or that same type of drive when 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 men is not around. And they absence, like Paul said. Okay, and it's the same thing with your Howard Shot. You know, just because you don't have a brother around you to see you or you don't have another person around you to see you, that don't mean you got the green light to just be a nigga. You know? So this is, I'm, I'm going to make it quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 23, um, verse 18. It says, A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, uh, Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. So you got some guys that, you know, they be like, yeah, I'm at the house now. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. You know, ain't nobody seeing seeing my, my what I'm doing. And can't nobody see my thoughts. You know, don't nobody know I don't like him or, or this and that or whatever the case may be. You know, um, the, the most I know. Yeah, how about Shemao Shai knows the, the hearts of men. He tries the hearts of men. He try, He knows the reins in the, of the hearts of men. All right. He knows your intentions. OK. So you have to move in, in the spirit as if Yahweh Shai is really like literally right there because in the spirit, he's watching everything. He's beholding everything that, that you're thinking, everything that you're doing and what you're not doing. You know, uh, um, you know, if you got a, a spirit of being a slothful a person or, or um, you know, a spirit of uh, you, you're not liking the brother. So you try to be real devious, you know, undermining uh, certain orders or undermining certain um, things that a brother say. That the Yahweh Shai beholds all of that, man. You ain't getting away with nothing. Nobody gets away with anything, man. All right, just because you you at in in the comfort of the four walls of your home, that don't mean you getting away with with anything. The Lord just line people up, okay. And that's one thing I noticed in the truth. And that's why you got to be very cognizant on your manner, your mannerisms, man. When you around brothers and when you not around brothers, man. Certain things you shouldn't be saying around younger brothers, or certain things you shouldn't be saying at all. You know, the controversial, uh, you know, trying to be the, the most, uh, you know, controversial Israelite with the wildest sayings. And, and the, hey, man, it ain't, it's, the, the, it's the simplicity of teaching. The simplicity of it is what catches you. All right, I'm going to continue on. This is verse 19. It says, uh, such a man fear of the eyes of men and know of not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. OK, so, hey, you. If you move in that spirit, then you only really fear the eyes of men. You don't fear your how about Shemao Shah. Okay? But here it is, the apostles and elders come and you, you know, you, you, you um, you know, you basically turn into a whole nother damn person. You know? <laughs> you turn into a whole nother uh 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 being, man. You know, you you're like, look at up, what's up with this guy, man? You know? And um that you can't be like that, man. You gotta be, you gotta be in the spirit. The same spirit that you have when the apostles and elders ain't around, 
that should be the same spirit that you carry in yourself when they are around, man. Okay? And for other brothers, other top men, man, you know. And, uh, of course, you got to have respect in, in certain do's and don'ts that you that you don't do and things of that nature. But, you know, you got to remember and consider that Yahweh Bashimah Shai is watching us every second of our life. We're being recorded, man. You know? So we have to obey him in his, in his physical absence so that uh, he can look upon us, our spirit, and be pleased. Okay? And this lesson goes for me as well. All right? It says, and considering... The most secret parts He knew all things ere ever they were created So also after they were perfected He looked upon them all So the Lord looks upon the trees The sea You know the uh, the grass he, 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 he looks upon everything man This is his creation He looks upon the animals all right? This is his creation So what more man And what more Israelite man Okay he really checking us out. He got the scope on us, man. So that means we got to be what? We got to have it wired tight, like apostle, like the apostles always mention that uh, that 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 phrase uh, off the movie Platoon. We got to be wired tight in this thing, man. All right, from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep. And yeah, you gonna, you know, you gonna go off. You gonna have certain um, you know, uh, issues that you gotta work on. But for the most part, man, you gotta get better. You know, it's good to speak about offend less. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a couple of more precepts in um you know in in the scriptures, man. Um uh, I'm gonna go to Philippians. Bear with me one second. Uh, go to the book of Philippians here. Okay, Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. But now much more in my absence. So this is Paul speaking. And you know, he was saying, look, not not uh, you have obeyed in my presence, but you go you gotta obey in my absence. You know, you gotta be uh uh, uh on point even while I'm not here. You know, you gotta have that same fire in you even when I'm not here, you know? And um and you know you know how Jake get, man. You know, just just because they don't have a, a, a elder or apostle around. And um, they feel like they can do or say whatever they want to say, when really that that's not how it is, man. You gotta be on point, man. You gotta be be circumspect, man. And and you gotta watch yourself. That's the main person you gotta watch in your walk is yourself. Sometimes you gotta do videos to cut a demon that's on you. You know you have you may have to cut yourself. All right. You know I I've done videos um, exhorting that that pertain to me before. You know, and, and that's just how it go, you know, but you got to stay on yourself. You got to be mindful of obedience and what it takes to um to be an obedient child. And that means what an obedient child is not always obedient when the parent is around. What makes them obedient is what they do when the parent is not around and they get a good report from another teacher or another person that, yeah, this man right here, he's a good guy. All right. That's obedience. Obedience is not that that whole um, problem child spirit. Dennis the Menace where, you know, you acting good in front of your parents. Um, but then, you know, when your parents ain't around, man, you just a little fucking demon. All right? You can't have that spirit, man. All right, I'm going to continue on. It says, um, uh, so lucky I lost it. Uh, here it is. It says, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So this thing is is, is about what you do, okay? Even if, if, if a brother ain't around you, the apostles and elders may not be around you. The Akim may not be around you, all right? You may not have nobody right there at that present moment to tell you or to give you advice on if you should do that or if you should not do it. All right. You have to have that fear embedded within your spirit that 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 when a voice speaks to you, you have to hear it. You know, you got to do the things that the spirit tell you to do or otherwise you get caught in the net of Satan. And uh, once you get caught in that net and you get entangled and, 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 and trapped in that net, uh, it's, it's hard to get out of that, man. That's why you got to be careful um, how you moving your mannerisms, man. I did a video uh, uh, about a week ago about behave yourself in your camp, you know, and that also goes when you ain't around the camp, you know, 
Well, you're not around the, the, the brethren, the Akim, okay? You got to be a good student, man. All right? Let me get one more. And uh, Peter. First Peter. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up after this. Got to get back to work, man. You know, out here in, on, on the slave, slave yard and shit, man. All right? Um... This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15. It says, Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. So this is Paul speaking, or so like Peter speaking, saying that he was an eyewitness of Yahweh Shai. Um... Uh, of his power and his great might Okay It says um, For he received from the most high the father honor and glory When there came such a voice to him From the excellent glory That is my beloved son In whom I am well pleased And his voice which came from heaven We heard when we were with him In the holy mountain So they heard the voice of the most high man Okay They actually